Good morning everyone. This is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. Today I have a couple things I want to share with you. I have a haul video, but I also wanted to share a project that I was working on. That is why I have been MIA. <laughs> I have been, let me move this is all my haul I want to share with you guys. That's why I had it up here. It has just been um, piled up on my counter. I haven't had time to put it away because I was working on a different project. So I am one of those people that has a lot of hobbies, like a lot. And one of those hobbies I'm sorry if it's dark, but I've been using my light somewhere else. So hopefully the video won't be too, too dark. Um, but I have been uh, working on a project that um, I love to work on uh, leather. I do have, um, you know, a bunch of tools and stuff because I do you know, uh, every now and then work on leather projects. And it's something that I've always been interested in, but I never really created anything big. It was just little things like books for my daughters because they're waitresses and they needed something to hold their order pad and stuff like that. So just custom things like that, but very little. But I saw a video on YouTube and I thought, oh, I like that. I'm one of those people that I like a very small... A crossbody bag because I don't like to carry anything on my shoulder. I don't like to hold a purse from the handle. I like to just put it over my shoulders, you know, around my neck and just let it drape down. That's uh, the kind of bags that I like and I like them to be small. So I want to share with you my project. Look at this, guys. Look at how pretty this is. I have never ever created uh, any type of handbag or anything. I'm very new to leather craft because um, it's not something I do all the time and the, the couple things that I've done have been very, very simple things. Uh, this tutorial was a little difficult to follow. I will link it in the description box for those of you who want to have a go at it. Um, some of the measurements and the shapes were a little hard to achieve because there's no pattern. You kind of have to uh, not all the measurements are there and you kind of just have to stop the video and watch to see where he's marking and all of that. So it was a little difficult because, uh, like I said, there wasn't all the measurements, but I was able to figure it out. It took me a while, but I figured it out. Anyway, this is the body crossbody bag that I made for myself. So it does have a very large, uh, strap to it because I, uh, that's the kind I like. And then I want to share the back with you. Look at how gorgeous that is, you guys. If I was to see this in a store, I would have purchased it. Look at the shine on that burgundy leather. And this comes in a natural, almost lighter than this. It comes in a natural, um, maybe, maybe, maybe similar to the color of this box. It's not really white, but it's like an off-white. And that's the color it comes in. You have to dye it. So I dyed mine using two different colors. I think it was saddle tan and a mahogany. And I love, love, love how it looks. Look at that, you guys. The shine on that. And I did put a finish on there to protect it. And that's what gives it the shine. I did add some brass uh, hardware to it. These are uh, swivel lobster claws so my um, strap won't get kinked up or anything because these are actually swivel. I did add some brass, antique brass uh, D-rings and then of course the um, studs. What are they called? Um, they are called, I think they're called studs. So I added these, um, they're not really snaps because these don't snap. These are the kind that are permanent and don't come off. I did the same thing on the strap. Look at how gorgeous that is. 
and then I will share the side with you, the side profile. This was actually, the tutorial I followed was a little bit more narrow, not here, but the the front because it was made for a cell phone and some debit cards or credit cards. Uh, but I, um, I made mine just a little bit wider and that's the only measurements I changed because I think it was supposed to be four and one eighth width in the front and I did five inches, so I made mine wider. Uh, the gussets are really, really small, maybe an inch. But look how gorgeous that, I hope you can see how nice the edges look. And there is something that you use a, a um, some kind of a cream that goes on here and or gum tragnet and you use a burnishing tool to, uh, sl it's called a slicker. And it kind of makes these shiny and it kind of welds them together. It's, it's hard to explain. Um, but there is a tool. And then, of course, here is the pattern that I followed. The pattern, same as the tutorial and the front clasp as well. I still need to add stitches around the perimeter of this little piece right here. But that's all that I have left to do. But it is glued on there. So the beauty of this is a lot of times you get to glue pieces before you even stitch it. I did hand stitch this. This is all hand stitched. And there is a tool and a you give yourself a guideline. There's, you know, you, you got to have all the tools, guys, because leather work is something that you want to be as exact as possible. Um, and then you need the tools to puncture the holes before you even go in with a needle because there's no way you could puncture uh, a hole in this just with the needle because you crisscross your threads to stitch. Uh, and you wouldn't be able to do it like even my hand feels a little sore from uh, the thick areas like in this area where it was really thick uh, because I needed a certain tool that I didn't have so that made it more difficult but it was this was all handmade hand done by me and then there's tools that help you get the perfect corner to round this one's not as nice as this side but it's for me I can deal with it that doesn't bother me one bit so I'm gonna open it up and look at how nice here is that bottom portion that closes and then I hand stitched all and hand cut all the pockets for the uh, cards but keep in mind that the, the original pattern was not as wide as this one so my pockets are a little bit longer because I changed the width in the front of um, my bag and then um, it's not very deep I mean it's not very wide as far as the gusset but the thing about leather is the more you use it the softer it gets and then I did add a uh, this is pigskin suede so I did add a liner to the inside and like I said everything's hand stitched and it's not very noticeable on the inside because it's about the same color as the inside lining but I love 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 the way this came out so I do have the five slots with the the centers cut out to be able to you know pull my cards in and out I love this you guys I really do the front taste stays pretty straight because of my cards that are in it they're keeping it straight but in the back I can bend it to curve it to kind of stick my hand in there because it's not very wide so this was my test my first one and the the one that I already use is smaller than this it's a little bit more narrow and it's only about this this long so I already I'm used to uh, a bag that is this small and this narrow on the inside uh, but I think I'm going to after I'm done because I already have a list of orders for my daughter and my husband after I'm done with theirs I think I'm going to make another one that's going to have maybe a little bit wider gusset but it's going to be shorter just the size of you know this section that holds the cards because I like really small small bags but I do want to have a little bit more room in here um, my cell phone is really small too this accommodates the regular cell phones whether they be iPhones or Galaxy phones um, but my phone is the one that folds so mine's just like a little cube like this like a little square almost 
and so it fits in here perfectly uh, closed up as well but anyway guys that is one of the things I was working on and let me share my haul with you guys so I can put stuff away one of the things I picked up is this right here and this was from an eBay seller and this is the Anna Griffin the stamps and the sentiments so it's got the sentiments here it does come with some labels for the album notebook for the binder so it's got sentiments then it's got the images here and then this one has more even more sentiments and more images you have a bunny you have a birthday cake this looks like a tulip this is maybe a holly and then this looks like an acorn so it's a very nice set and that it comes with all the dies as well and then it also came with the notebook the binder and it came with um, the labels too because these pockets also come in it so it's it's a plastic sleeve and you can label them and i guess that's what these labels are for uh, to be able to maybe put a uh, dividers in there and be able to label what they're for so I haven't put it away but that's one of the things that I did pick up and it was brand new it was brand new nobody had ever uh, used it and then it had an extra an extra stamp in here that um, wasn't included it says granddaughter I believe yep so there's an extra bonus stamp included in here that I guess was left out of the the the, um, the stamps and they decided to just, you know, set, package it separate. So anyway, that's one of the things that I got in the mail. And then I got in another eBay purchase right here is this Tonic Studio at Tag and it has a perfume bottle in the center and I really like it. So there's an image of it so I really like that and so that was also I think I paid maybe ten dollars for that and then I had a couple of things come in from tonic studio so from tonic studio they were having a sale where depending on how much you bought you got a bag and um, so I did get the tonic studio bag canvas bag not sure what I'm going to do with that and then you would get this little bonus little uh, die as well it's a thank you die so you get that but this is what I picked up the hamper this was $19.99 you guys so I didn't buy it when it originally came out and I liked it um, but I wasn't about to pay what they wanted for it. And then when it went on sale, I was able to, to pick it up. And that is what it looks like. There it is. So, I mean, there's my hand. And this is the basket part. So, it's, it's, it's a nice size. It's not going to be huge. But it's going to be an okay size. So, I got that in. And I got in the um the magic magical music box and this does have a ballerina and i did open this i think yep so there's this one and the ballerina comes with a couple different dresses you have all the decorative layers it's really really pretty but this is yeah, definitely something that would be um you know, it's going to take you a little time to put that together. And this one came with the magnetic um, pocket to put in a binder with a magnetic um, plastic pocket with a magnetic sheet in it. And then this one just came in the bell. So I'm glad I waited because this is also, this one is called A Book of Shared Memories. This is also in your collection and you can make different size memory albums. But you can also, for the smallest one, I believe, you're able to make a box to house it in. And let's open this. And this one, too, came with the magnetic uh, sh uh, sheet and the binder, the plastic binder to go in the binder pocket. And let's open this. That way you guys can have a look at it.
Oh, wow. This is huge. Look at that, guys. There's my hand. And look at how big the biggest one is. That This makes a really nice size uh, mini album, especially if you're into mini albums. Like, you can use all these different things. you got a bunch of sentiments. You have keys. You have edges, uh, locks, uh, sentiments, couple sentiments. Very, very nice hinges. This is gorgeous. So, I haven't had a chance to play with it. This is the closure for it. It does come with a, a closure that you don't have to use any metal. You can actually cut it out of paper. So, um, I mean, just look on YouTube and you'll find videos on that as well. And then I got in an order from uh, Carnation Crafts. I'm a big fan of Carnation Crafts. And I purchase whenever I can. And there had been some things that I had been eyeing. So I picked them up. One of them was this long line bow. There is artwork for this bow. So I had to have it. And I, had, I think I had printed the artwork out. Maybe not. I didn't print it out. But there's beautiful, beautiful artwork that goes to this. Or you can just cut a bow. Whichever you want. But it leaves the uh, little cut lines as if it were pleats in the bow. So I picked that one up. I picked this one up. I have been working on some Happy Mail as well. I wanted to share some of my die cuts with some of the ladies that were so generous to me. Uh, helping me out with my, my order issues. And so I've been... I know not everybody likes to print. And then cut and you know it, it was a learning curve for me to learn how to print this correctly the kind of paper and all of that but I got it down packed and I want to share some of this beautiful uh, artwork and die cuts with some ladies and then here is the half and half circle it's what it's called and it's got let's celebrate it's got this little like twine or ribbon uh, bow then it's got some doily half circles, like a doily full circle, and then half circles in, in two different sizes. But then it also has the flowers to cut out the flowers, plus the layering pieces to the flowers. Let me turn it to the back. This artwork is beautiful, and I wish I had printed it out, but I didn't. So you get, these are the layering flowers that you would layer on top of uh, this when you print this out, there will actually be artwork for this. And you don't cut these apart. They're, they're already made. You pull off the whole die and you line it up and cut it and the die stays attached. You never cut these dies apart. Not these. And then here are the, the smaller half circle and the larger half circle. And then the doilies again. The large and then the smaller. And they too have the layering pieces to make either a half circle or a full one there's actually a full layering piece to this as well and there's that twine bow look at how gorgeous that it is anyway guys that is all that i wanted to share with y'all but that is what why this is why i have been mia and i probably will be for a little while because i got a couple uh, projects that i want to work on for uh, my husband and my daughter um but yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this and I will link this video in the description box. If I can find affiliate links or regular links, I will also link those in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday and God bless. Bye.